Hello, this is Shane Ross with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to deal with taking 60p footage shot with DVC Pro HD and slowing it down to 2398 so that it's slow motion. Now the, this will only work if you're working in a 2398 timeline. But this is how to slow it down. Now the footage has to be again shot at 60p in order to do this. So you see that we have footage here that is shot in regular motion. Now I want to take that and slow it down. So what I need to do is I need to take this clip that exists in my current project and I need to move it to a different project. I have one called slow-mo conversion right here. Now the reason you have to move it to a different project is because for some reason there's a bug that doesn't allow you to do it in your current project. You need to make a brand new project to do that. So I have a special project called Slow Mo Conversion where I have all of my slow mo clips. So, what I do first is I grab the clip from the bin and drag it to the new project. And there it is right there. And I click on it. And I select Tools, DVC Pro HD Frame Rate Converter. Now, this is something you actually need to download from the Panasonic site. You need to download this converter and then launch Final Cut Pro. Okay, select that. And as you see, the source file is DVC Pro HD 720p60 running at 5994. I want to convert it to 23.98. You can convert it to several things. You can even convert 2398 to 5994, but that's not what we're doing today. I'm going to do this. I'm going to remove all the duplicate frames and make it self-contained, and I'm going to re-import it back into the project. I click OK. Now it's asking me to save as, so I need to know the file name. Now this is a P2 file, so it has the 000 number in front of it. So I'm going to name it the same thing, just so I know what it is, 000954.mov, but I'm going to call it converted. And I'm saving it to a folder on a, one of my media drives. I put a uh, it's inside a folder, it's inside the Capture Scratch folder, it's called Converted 60p. That's where I have all my clips. So I'm click Save. Now what this does first is it's reading the data, and after it does this, it's going to write it. What this does is it produces a really nice slow-mo clip. Um, where is it coming up here? Now the spinning wheel, writing the data. Now again, as I said, this only works with 60p footage shot with the DVC Pro HD camera, either the Panasonic Vericam or the P2 camera, the uh, HVX200. This is a rather sizable clip, so I apologize for the weight here. Again, it was this nice footage of these people, like, and you saw when we played it that it kind of looked like video. It looked like something you would see on the soap opera or on the news. Very smooth video. Okay, now you'll see I have the original source clip, so to check bodies, and then dead on field, convert it. Now I don't like to have the originals in here, I just can delete that, and we have the duplicate. So I just double click on this, come over here, and as you'll see, it's a nice, smooth, slow mo shot, which I can now use in my project. And it's now 2398 and moves nice and smooth. Alright, that's it for this video tutorial. I'll catch you on the flip side.